Hi everyone, my name is Robert, and you're watching That's the Movie. So today I'll be reviewing American Hustle. American Hustle is David O. Russell's up, uh, well, follow up to Silver Linings Playbook. If you haven't seen Silver Linings Playbook, it came out last year. It got Jennifer Lawrence an Oscar for Best Actress, and Bradley Cooper also got a nomination, and he starred in it. I didn't think it was that good, I didn't really like the movie much. I was kind of bored of it, like the whole way through, I didn't enjoy it, but I wasn't ever a big fan of David O. Russell. I mean, it was kind of like, eh, he was there sometimes for me, but he was okay. And now, this movie, I actually really, really like this movie. It's probably one of my favorite movies of the year, and it definitely deserves at least a nomination for Best Directing. I know Alfonso Baron is going to give everyone a really hard time with his directing from Gravity, so I feel like from what I saw, David Russell really wants to win an Oscar for his directing at least. And this movie, I don't know, was just like awesome. It was like a really, really, really good movie. It was hilarious too. And it was a good time and every, every single actor did a fantastic performance. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let me just start off with the writing. So this, the story itself is that uh, it's based, it's like a fictional events based around the whole ab scam thing in the 1970s. These two um, con, con men, uh, it was played by Christian Bale as a main character. He is like this con man who had been conning for years since he was a kid. He started it. And then Amy Adams comes along and he meets, he meets her and then he decides to bring her on in into his, you know, his scams and all the stuff he does. And they become, they, they fall in love, they become like really good con men together and eventually they con the wrong person, which is Bradley Cooper, who is an FBI agent. And then they use them as to help them bring down politics, like politicians that are, um, you know, corrupted, they're accepting bribes and stuff, and he uses them to do a bunch of stuff, and that's just pretty much the it of the story. They're trying to, oh, uh, they're trying to get um, a mayor who is played by Jeremy, Jeremy Renner, and like, the mayor itself is one of the nicest guys ever, and he didn't, he just wanted what was best for his, you know, town. He didn't want to, they don't want to hurt anybody, they don't want to make sure he was doing anything illegal, he just wanted to help, you know, his town. So that's the type of character Jeremy, Jeremy Renner played, and I thought he did a fantastic job too. I've always liked him, doesn't always get, you know, spotlight he needs. I mean, he wasn't born Legacy, but what are you going to get from that? It's just lots of kicking and punching, but it was alright. Anyways. Um, the, this was written by David o. Russell and Eric Singer. David o. Russell. Uh, his writing is his, his scripts are known to have like this very juicy writing for it Like it's just like if you're looking at a Tarantino script or it's just filled for so many opportunities for actors And he just is a brilliant writer What he at first when I saw him I, he had the same thing that I thought about Tarantino I thought he was a better writer than he was a director and With this movie he kind of just blew that that idea I had about about him like out of the water It's like the writing was spectacular as always probably the best he's ever written guarantee a nomination for best screenplay but his directing really was what shined in this movie I feel like he wanted he just really wanted that that win for best directing and I know he's trying really hard and it'll be really hard to see between at least me personally Alfonso Cuarón and him you know maybe if he would have like released his movie next year or, or the year before instead of Silver Lines Playbook no, just next year he probably would have had more of a chance to win best directing but he still did a very good job, and I feel like maybe, just maybe the Academy would be like, just give it to David O. Russell. Because there are some really good directors this year, and it'll be interesting to see how that goes down in the Oscars. But yeah, this movie, definitely Oscar-worthy, very good, very good directing, and the soundtrack was just on point. It was just all these movies, all these songs from 1960s and 1970s just playing the whole time, and it was not even much of a score. The music was done by Dan Danny Elfman, and every now and then there actually was composed music, but there was a lot of, you know, uh, uh, I think they're called needle drops, where they put the music in, and it was just so perfect, and, in the ed and edited in perfectly. It was just all done so good, and I, this movie also probably, I feel like this movie will win Best Picture. This is my pick for like Best Picture, this movie is definitely going to get it. Because there's just something about 
just not too complicated plots and not going too big and fantastical like Argo. Argo, that's how it won Best Picture because it was so simple, but it was so well acted, it was so well written, so well directed that it just all came together to be a very entertaining thing. And that's how American Hustle is going to be. I, I feel like that's definitely going to win Best Picture. And I'm actually really proud of David O. Russell. I've never really liked him before, especially when he was on called in for Uncharted to try and direct that movie. He was going to ruin that movie. But after this movie, I really have faith in him, and I think he's a really good director, and this is definitely a movie you have to go see. So anyways, I've spoken enough about the directing and writing, but now let's get into the acting itself. Um, this stars Christian Bale, Amy Adams, and Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence. So, in my opinion, Jennifer Lawrence stole the whole show completely. Because this movie was kind of like a, a dramedy, mostly comedy, but there was still a lot of drama in there. It was still very serious, and all these actors did that perfectly. They did the perfect, just, mixture of real-life human characters, you know, that they, it made sense, like, their reactions and everything. It wasn't just fake, and these actors are all brilliant, you know. And last year, when Jennifer Lawrence won Best Actress, I didn't see the other movies and the other nominations, so I wouldn't know if she did better than them. But when I saw her in the movie, I thought she did all right. I mean, she did a good job, but I was like, oh, she won an Oscar for that. Okay. But I think she definitely deserves the Best Supporting Actress role here. She deserves the, the Oscar for that, because she did a fantastic job. Same thing with Bradley Cooper. Just an amazing job. Best, act, best Supporting Actor definitely goes to him. Christian Bale, I really liked him, but so it didn't stick out to me that he would win Best Actor for his role, but he still did a really good job, like a really awesome job. And he is one of these actors who gets into his roles. He had like he got all fat and stuff, and then they made him did, did like a comb over things in his hair and everything. It was so ridiculous and it was so great. And it was amazing. I thought he's always he's always been a fantastic actor. But this year for Best Actor, definitely I doubt it'll be him. Most likely. I can expect Tom Hanks for Captain Phillips. That's what I can expect, that's just me. But he did a great job, and Amy, Amy Adams did a really good job too. She was actually surprising to me. I didn't expect it from her, but she was a lot better than I expected. And there was even one point where they had her with no makeup and she just looked broken, because it was after this very serious thing that happened. You'll, if, I don't want to spoil it for you in the movie, but she just looked like a broken woman, just, it was, it was amazing to watch. It was like the same feeling I had when I saw Tom Hanks and Captain Phillips. Just broken people and it was great and they all did a fantastic performance with that and I really enjoyed that. And it was just amazing how this movie had that contrast of very serious dr dramatic like tension to this all oh, this light-hearted comedy. Like it was just perfect. So all in all this is a really good movie. I really recommend you go see this. It was one like the best times I've had in a movie and it was like two hours and I didn't even get bored once I was like oh when is this gonna end no no I was like there the whole time just like give me some more it was so good really good movie I really enjoyed it so anyways I'm wrapping up here check out my website with Sasha at the SashaMarinaShow.com and look under topics that's a movie and you can see everything else I've done uh, all the other videos and also where to find the podcast that I do is I do every single Monday 12 noon Pacific Standard Time 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it's at blogtalkradio.com slash Sasha Marina show and usually what I talk about there is just movie news like what's happening in, in, in the Hollywood right now with movies like I report on what's up with X-Men or what they're gonna do for like Fast and Furious 7 that stuff, you know, all, all the news you need to know about. And sometimes I even talk about TV shows if I find it worth mentioning. Same thing with video games, because I'm a big fan of just all media. So I mention it if it's worth mentioning, and I talk about it. It's, it's really fun. You can look at all the past recordings as well, because I've done quite a few. They're every single Monday. Check them out. They're a really fun time. I really enjoy doing them. And you can even call in and give your own opinion if you want to. You can do that. So just make sure to do that. And you can look for the rest of the videos too that I've had on YouTube for the movie reviews at the Sasha Marina Show .com. You look at, I mean, the Sasha Marina Show channel, and you look up the, her channel, and there should be a playlist for that's the movie, or just look up that's the movie. You know, look up for that's the movie and a movie title if you're looking for a review of it, and you can see it. I've done quite a few. I think the first one I did was The Kings of Summer. Check that out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, look it up. 
And you guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram at the real Robert AH. And I think uh, yeah, that's that's about it. That's where you can follow me and stuff. That's where I have my stuff. And you know, like this video, comment on it, share it, uh, subscribe. I guess do that stuff. Yeah, check this movie out. So that's the movie.